this is Zion Drive off of Fortner Street in Dothan, Alabama. And as you can see, Zion Drive is cut off to the public, but at one time it used to be open where you could drive all the way down to a cemetery that a lot of kids used to call the, uh, the Devil's Graveyard in Dothan. And uh, since we can't drive down there anymore, there is a, uh, a trail called, uh, the trail is called Cemetery Ridge. It's one of the six trails at uh, Forever Wild Trails here in Dothan. And uh, you can get, in, it runs right next to the cemetery. So we're going to take the trail and uh, we'll talk about Zion Cemetery or, uh, as what a lot of young people are referred to as the Devil's Graveyard. All right, we're at the uh, trailhead. This is the trailhead for uh, basically three interconnected trails. Uh, the yellow trail here is where we'll be going. We're right here, and we're going to be going up around here to uh, Mount Zion Baptist Cemetery, as what a lot of people refer to as the Devil's Graveyard. So, we'll get a move on. This is a pretty easy trail. Not very difficult. There's uh, six trails out here. Some of them are relatively difficult. But this one's one of the easier ones. So, I'm not going to film the whole trail. That'll be kind of long and boring. But, uh, we'll be kind of in and out here. So, as for the folklore of the Devil's Graveyard, um, this is something that a lot of young people have been coming out and visiting since, uh, at least the 80s. Um, my brother is 10 years older than me, and he and a lot of his friends from Dothan High School or Northview High School in Dothan, uh, they, uh, they came out here in the late 80s, and it's an old cemetery, got a lot of headstones out there. Um, I, I, was, I was in high school in the mid to late 90s, I think the first time I ever came out was uh, around 1995, but it's really just a, uh, an old cemetery that has been embellished and a lot of stories told. Um, it's one of those things where a lot of kids went out there, but everybody knew somebody who had seen some crazy stuff out there, supposedly. Uh, some people claim that there was a old satanic church out in the woods behind the cemetery. Some people claim they know somebody that uh, went out there and saw hooded robed figures coming out of the woods. A whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, I remember going out here and with a group of teenagers in the 90s and I remember one girl getting really upset like crying hysterically. She just wanted to leave. Uh, she didn't see anything. She just felt creeped out but I'll explain why I believe that the uh, cemetery developed that kind of reputation Ooh, look a turtle hey turtle but yeah I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go into why I think that place developed the reputation that it did in a moment when we get there okay so we're out at uh, Mount Zion Cemetery, um, the Devil's Graveyard, if you will, and as you can see, there's a lot of headstones have been removed or destroyed due to vandalism over the years. Uh, some of these headstones are rather old, but I remember coming out here and when I was young, and I realized what caused the uh, 
rumors and the legends was there used to be a headstone that doesn't appear to be out here anymore I'm sure it was destroyed or stolen years ago but it had a, a, a pinnacle on it or a, a pentagram uh, upside down inverted a uh, five star five point star and I think a lot of people associated that with uh, Satanism devil worship whatever uh, but I believe that, that that star just indicated that the person buried there was a, uh, a mason now I understand that there's a lot of people that feel like you know there's some conspiracy theorists that believe that the masons you know, have uh, ulterior motives or right, who knows that that's not a discussion for me that's for somebody else uh, but yeah there's a lot of conspiracy theorists that believe some negative things about the masons but um, I don't believe that that's what it is I think that person was just a mason and had one of their emblems on his headstone uh, this place is in no way a devil's graveyard uh, aside from that one headstone that had a Masonic symbol on it um, you'll see crosses there's a lot of crosses on a lot of the headstones out here um, I've never known anybody uh, it's it's always somebody knew somebody who had seen this or had seen that uh, I've been out in the woods behind this cemetery a long time ago I've never seen even the remnants of any old structure that could have been a, a uh, devil's graveyard let's see here's just one example of a cross on a headstone and there's a lot of them on the headstones out here but there's been a lot of vandalism over the years uh, and you can see kids come out here and spray paint stuff on it and that's really sad um but that, that's the truth it was one headstone had a uh, pinnacle or pentagram that appeared to be the uh, the masons pinnacle I don't really know exactly what that symbol means to them, but uh, it's not devil worship. Uh, a lot of different groups use a pinnacle or pentagram uh, that aren't into Satanism or devil worship. Uh, I believe Wiccans use that symbol as do many pagans, and that doesn't uh, equate to devil worship or Satanism. But anyway, that's. Uh, the devil's graveyard if you will but yeah throughout the 80s 90s and early 2000s back when Zion Drive was open where people could drive back here yeah kids used to come out here and tell stories of uh, devil worshippers and devil's churches and, uh, and they just party and vandalize the place which is sad but there's really nothing to the devil's graveyard it is not a devil's graveyard never has been but good luck telling that to teenagers um, I have been out here late at night and sure when you've got the stories and the legends that everybody's telling each other yeah it can make it feel a little bit creepy at night but I think that's all it is there's uh, no signs of devil worship or anything like that so if you ever decide to come hike Cemetery Ridge at Forever Wild Trails um, if you happen to step over to the cemetery, don't go vandalize the place. That's uh, not what a lot of kids make it out to sound like. But that's the gist of the cemetery out here. And it is part of Dothan's folklore. And uh, some spooky fun for some, but for some people that like to take it a lot too far and go destroying headstones trash in the place and spray paint and it's kind of sad anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll come up with something else to post soon until next time